We back, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy William. This Dorsey. It's Adrian. Adrian T. Dorsey. Shout out to my boys, Mikel, Wale, and Monte. The legends. Um, this is the first one since the one with our little incident. <laughs> we got detained. We got detained. For, the, for those of you who said we got arrested, no, we did not. Shame on y'all. No, we did not. Don't you go telling that lie. We did not get arrested. We got detained. I ain't had no cellmate, nothing. <laughs> unlawfully. Unru Imagine if you would have been in jail. <laughs> I'm too small to go to get so, bro. <laughs> You got your nickname, Miss Sugar. Right, like, Sugar! All right, all right. So this one is about uh, self-worth, knowing your worth, knowing your value. It's specifically aimed towards females, but there's some things we're going to say that can go towards both. Because you know? it's a lot of girls that we know personally that do not, like, they say they love themselves, but I don't think they understand the true meaning of loving themselves and knowing their own value. And when they do that kind of stuff, when they jump the gun and try to be in a relationship, and they jumping from dude to dude, it, 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 it not, it's not looking, to, it's not making the dude. They're not bad. jumping from dude to dude. They jumping bum to bum to bum to bum to bum. I mean, yeah, bum to bum. But it's not making the dude. I mean, the, the, the bum look bad. They make him look good. Like, yeah, bum look good. Like, dang, I just caught another one and another one and another one. So it's like, know your own values, know your own worth, and you know, say pick the right one. So yeah, here we go. Let's do this. Oh. When we start talking about self worth, where we start at, bro? Like, what would you say? Like, learn how to love yourself before you give anybody anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I love myself a lot. So I was like, man, no, nothing nobody can say, do, or whatever will stop me from loving myself. And don't get that confused. A lot of people get that confused with all they cocky, arrogant, no. self centered. No. There's a difference between loving yourself and being. All the things he just said. Exactly. You can be, you can love yourself and be humble. You can love yourself and be very considerate of other people and everything. So, really, by loving yourself, that's me. That means I place myself on a high pedestal. Like not, not a bad way. You place yourself on a high pedestal. You know your worth. You right. know. I'm, a, I'm my own standard. Exactly. Right. I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of doing. I know who the person God has destined me to be. Like you can't be like out here. Saying stuff and then being the opposite of what you're saying. So that's just not, that's, exactly. that's going to get your own value. Practice what you create. You can't try to build up other things you get broken on the inside. That's my thing. And that's a huge thing. That's, in a way, a lot of people think of it as, you know, they like to talk about, oh, you a hypocrite because you, if you think about it, it, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but it's like, that's very hypocritical. Like, like you're going to try to build up somebody else, but in, in, on the inside, you're broken. That's like a dude, like, you know, extreme makeover. It's like, oh, I'm about to go in and redo this whole house. I'm not, a, but you live, but you are looking like, you're looking terrible. Your house looks terrible. Like, I'm going to make up these people's house. I'm going to do this for their house. I'm going to give them a home theater. I'm going to do all this. But my house is busted. So it's like, when it comes to loving yourself, knowing who you are, knowing whose you are, knowing that you are great, you are made, you are Fearfully and wonderfully made. You're capable of doing some amazing things. For real, for real. Number two. Um, that hurt that somebody else put you through, let it go. Um, Ooh, and that's another. Let it let it go, because you going into a, something new with old old stuff, mm -hmm. it's not good. Because, you know what I'm saying? And forgive that person. Exactly. Because forgiveness is forgive. the only way like, we can move forward. And that's my thing. People, people really like they say, oh, y'all don't know what I've been through. Y'all don't know what that person did to me. Keep up. I don't you care. ain't doing that. But the thing is, also, that's just another chain. Exactly. That just a test to. exactly that you're holding on to. That it's not, it doesn't have a clip on you, it doesn't have a grasp on you. But no, you're holding on to that chain. Exactly. We can't help the way we're raised. We can't help we can't help that the way people talk to us, but we can then mm, Lord forgive me. We can definitely it's okay. <laughs> control what we say, what we say to others. And my thing, like you said, the forgiveness is forgiveness is a huge thing because forgiveness is not for them; it's for you. Exactly. Because I mean, forgiveness means, if you think about it, when you actually forgive somebody, I'm closing the chapter on all that that, went, that happened, all that they did to me. I'm closing the chapter exactly. on that. I'm moved on. I'm not even thinking about that. Like well, what it is. So it's like forgiveness is a huge part of moving on and becoming something great. It's a huge part of okay, learning, growing from that situation. And becoming great. 
because of this terrible night. Any rocky relationship you had in the past, forget whoever that person is, whether it's your mom, your dad, your uh, uh, ex, who did you wrong, exactly. your friend, your all friends. that. You know what I'm saying? It's some rocky friendships out here. And it's like, really though, let that mess go because you carry that mess to another relationship. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help that relationship at all. It actually can kill. It can kill that relationship. Like seriously, baggage. Exactly, baggage is baggage are weed strangling a new plant that has potential growth. Make sure you're healed completely. Take the time for yourself. Take the time to grow. Take the time to mature. Take the time to heal because. If you carry in those wounds, if you carry in those bruises, all that stuff that somebody or something might have done to you, it is not going to do anything but bleed on another great relationship. It's going to put stains, it's going to make it undesirable, it's going to make that new relationship terrible. You must take time to heal, recuperate, all that. Don't don't jump from relationship to relationship. Because mm -hmm. that ain't going to do nothing. Soul ties? Serious. Like Serious. You, you with this person, this person, this person, like next after next after next, mm -hmm. like no. And even even if you don't like say, oh you be like, oh, oh I'm not even gonna date. I, what? Uh, True, that's another thing right. too. If you pour out your spirit and your soul to somebody, you if you let somebody in, just talking. Whatever the words they say to you, that's a that's a seed they plant inside of you, and eventually you won't have to come up. Exactly. So you can either have you have to uproot it. Trees of trees of apples and, and fruit, or you gonna have trees of bitterness and, and sadness and depression and all that. So be careful how you talk to people, how you treat people, and be careful how people you keep around yourself. Is that? Be careful who you let in your life. So make sure you're around the right people. Make sure you're around people who are going to uplift you. People who are going to make you grow. People who are going to, like, just being around them is going to force you to move and prosper. And, like, it's going to force you to have to be good, be great. Hold up, is that a part? Know your own value. Like, if the same person mm -hmm. keeps doing you dirty and dirty, mm -hmm. and you don't realize that he's doing you dirty or she, do you even know your own value? Exactly. Like seriously, I want you to sit down, think about it. Do I know my own value? And then another thing, another part that goes in that, you know, we just talked about healing. Okay, take the time to love yourself. Know yourself before, know yourself before you try to let somebody else get to know you. Know your worth because legit, to sit there and let somebody dog you constantly, constantly make you look bad, make you look stupid. Have others thinking less of you. That's not knowing your value. That's not knowing your worth. Believe in something. Something that's going to make you, you know, build you up. Something that's going to sustain you. Something that's going to, okay, you can stand on that word or that proverb, that whatever it is, that quote. Because legit, it's serious out here, man. It's like, unfortunately, people are losing their life every day because they don't know their worth. A lot of them do not know their worth. And it's like, like I said, it's not just something for the females because we're talking to the guys too. The guys don't know their worth. So a lot of guys are being dulled. A lot of girls are being dulled. We get, we get uh, categorized a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm We are not all the same. You know what I'm We might have our phases. I'm not, I'm not, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Bad oh. things. I ain't gonna say it's not just things. We're not. And it's like, my thing is this. The reason why we do these videos, and if you notice, if you look at all our videos, yo, you, you can see the difference between how exactly. we first started and how we are now. Like, I'm just gonna note that I was not in the original videos, the first few. <laughs> so I've been to all of them. I want that. I, mean, huh? what? I want that bad. I want you to lie on camera. I want you to lie on camera. I want as bad. <laughs> okay, there we but, go. It was some stuff that I did that I'm not proud of. It's some things that I've done. And it's really, I want it. But, if I had but to go all exactly. Over again, I would. If I was able to I go back and tell, you. if I was able to go back and tell Adrian Dorsey last year or Adrian Dorsey or two years ago, right from wrong, this to do, that to do, all that kind of stuff, I would. Because, you know, we've both seen growth within ourselves. We've seen growth. I've seen growth in all of us. Seen some decline, but, you know, it's all right. <laughs> but, <laughs> some decline. but it's still... Yeah, they used to decline. <laughs> <laughs> the Super Sam himself. 
the reason why we make these changes is because we see the error in our ways. We realize that some of the stuff we do ain't cool. And it's like, we don't want y'all to go through the mess. In part, we want y'all to know. Do you see the error in our ways? Or? No, what do you see? Yeah, do you see the errors in our ways? Or? Or we just bored and decided to change up. I saw the air in my ways. Because I, think I about it. So I think if I didn't have a girlfriend, I probably still I wouldn't probably be as bad, but I probably still That's a bold that's a that's a bold thing to say. I'm, I'm proud of you. I saw the air in my way. <laughs> a big reason why I, I want to do these and like you know help y'all out is because legit I want y'all this is a big thing self-worth I want y'all to know how precious y'all are and it was a point of time where we but, might yo, not our friends was just like like back to back like just being dog being no they had dogs and being dumb like they kept going back like not like dumb dumb like oh you're stupid like just but dumb. still like and that's my thing it's like really it's, it, it becomes something, like you know how they always say, till you have enough. No, but when your friends have enough and they say something, bro, I really want you to listen to your friends. And the friends that are brutally honest are usually the best friends for you. If they keep it a butt with you, they don't hold nothing back. That's the friends you want. Exactly. I want, I want the friends that's gonna tell me I'm wrong. Not the friends that's gonna let me keep on being wrong. Like, if, I, if I'm freaking, if I keep getting speeding tickets, my friend don't tell me to slow down. What kind of friend are you? You just ride in the car while I keep getting speed tickets? Huh? No. If I'm out here getting dog, I yeah. want a friend that's telling me to stop getting dog, not the friend that's gonna keep letting me get hurt. Also, another thing is the person they're talking to. The friends can say it all they want, but if you're not gonna do nothing, after a while. Right, the friend can only do so much. It's like exactly. really up to the person. If they that ignorant enough to keep on getting hurt, then don't then be then. that person, bro. Do not be that person. Do not be that person. I've seen too many of my friends, and it's like still, right now, I've seen too many of my friends who make the same mistakes over and over and over again. And it's like, they wonder why, or they want, they say they want change. And it's like, they just, you don't receive change, you don't get it. But it's like legit though, man. It's like a lot of people are out here doing the same thing, thinking that it's gonna be a different thing. And that same thing could be the same kind of person. It can be the same person. It can be the same situation. It can be, oh, something that might look, bro, it's like expecting different things. You gotta switch it up sometimes. You gotta change the game. You gotta take time for yourself. Take time to heal up. You gotta affirm yourself. Do words of affirmation every day. Whatever you gotta do, change the game. Don't do the same thing you've done. Do it for yourself. Exactly. Not, not yeah, man. That, this is pretty. I guess it's pretty short. I, I don't think it's short. It's short. It's 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 short enough. Anyways, you know, if this don't if this one don't touch you, I don't know what else. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you can say because we might play, but legit, we mean it. We, we, care, care, we mean it. We do, and it's like when we say that we care. Right. Like, we do care. We care about y'all. We care about whether you're male, female. We care about you. We want you to do the best thing for you. We want to see everybody win, bro. We want to see all our friends win. We want to see, even if it's the girl that live across campus, whatever it is, we want you to win. We don't want nobody going through hurt. We losing too many people because people are out here not knowing that word. People out here hurting. Yeah, so uh, y'all watch this, share with your friends. It'll be up either sometime soon or early 2019. That being said, I'm William. I'm Dorsey. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy holiday. Have a blessed one. Let us be the best one.